Hey everybody, this is Edjojo and welcome to another video in my series on Python and the basics of Python. In today's video, I will be teaching you about um, adding the questions and using the variables to generate our questions for us. Before we do that, let me just quickly remind you that our comments are very important. So I just want to comment uh, there. So what we need to do, so we're going to add our question over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter there, and uh, again we're going to pose the question in a print function, which you now already know how to do, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say, so basically I want to say what is whatever plus whatever, so what is, what is, and then I'm going to add the variable, remember put a comma and then the variable name, so num1. Uh, comma and then I want to have another Um, question number one, it should say what is and then some number between one and ten plus some number between one and ten and so on. So we look at the spacing and um, if everything goes according to plan you will see there will be eventually there will be some errors. Initially I think it will be fine but then eventually when we do some concatenation there will be some errors and I'm going to tell you how to get past those errors if it ever pops up in anything else or maybe just in this one. So I'll just press F5, I'll save it and I'll run it, so I'm going to type my name, Edujo, I run it, and you can see all of this is fine, it's got question 1, what is 4 plus 2, 2 plus 2, 8 plus 3, and so on, but we've got that space over there, and we don't want that grammatically, that is not correct, so we want that closer, to get that closer, um, from previous uh, videos, you should know now that we do the concatenation like we did uh, over there, so uh, to do that, we're just gonna take that comma away, we're gonna do concatenation, and now this is where we might have an issue. So let's run it again so you can see. So theoretically, that question mark will be against uh, whatever the value is of that variable, but we might run into error, or we should run into error. So, uh, and then I will explain you how to, if you ever account, encounter that error, how to get over it. So, editor, there we go. So, we get an error. So, question one, it's all, uh, it's all gone fine up to there. Let me just show you. So, it's all gone fine up to where it says question one. And then when it came here, it said print what is num2, da, 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 and then said type error. Let me just bring this back. Type error, unsupported operand type four int and str. Now int uh, means integer and that is a, a, a whole number um, a negative or positive but a whole number and str means string um, that is the question mark so that a string is like an alphanumerical number something you type in so it's uh, it can't you can't put them together because you must have the same data types together so both have to be integers or both have to be strings so that doesn't work. So to fix that, we have to change the value of num2 in this case to a string um, for that to work because we can't change a question mark into a number. So we're going to change that variable's value into a string. So let me show you how to do that. So we close there. So we're going to go here and then I'm just going to go str for string, um, open bracket and close bracket. So theoretically, that should work now. So let's run again. Let's say OK. 
and I'm going to type my name and there you can see now it's working now there's no gap uh, over there it's against we have concatenated it we've changed that value to a string value as if we typed it from the keyboard this one is still the normal uh, integer value but it doesn't matter so much because the question is working but if you want to be thorough about it let me just get out of this one again if you want to be thorough and do the r it correctly so to speak um, I will also concatenate this one so I change that to a string so it's just the same and um, then I will just go ahead and do a concatenate to text as well string we've changed that integer to text so theoretically that should all be fine so let's run it and see so we're going to type our name edgy joe and we run it and there we go it still works out fine and now we have our questions five questions randomly uh, generated with different numbers six plus eight three plus three four plus ten and so on and so on so let's close that one again so um, and it doesn't matter that we've changed that one to a string by the way because we have our answer already stored there so there we've got our uh, integers that's been added up the random integers and it's the value is stored there so we can still check whether or not our answers are correct so um, we've got a what is the question so let's question that what is whatever plus whatever and then after that we can just add a uh, blank line so I'm gonna go print like that that should add a blank line and um, what else can I add so the next one is to ask for the user input the user input now remember we had an input somewhere at the top there we go we had an input where we where the user typed their name and then it was there we go and um, ding 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 so we've got that and so let's do the same thing so now we're going to have the actual answer so this is the answer that the user will be uh, typing in so we're going to say answer that's a variable so whatever the user types is going to be stored in there and we're going to have the reverse of that you'll see in in a minute or two why um, so we got the answer and then we want the input so I'll first do it um, so there's an error again so I'm going to input and then we're going to ask the user to add something in there so we're going to say type your there with a space and then a flashing cursor that is what we are expecting to happen so I'm just gonna go F5 to save it and run it so we get to what's your name edgy Joe and then it says question one also see now because we are waiting for a user input over here we're waiting for user input it um, it doesn't generate all the questions it now does it like a quiz already we only get one question uh, what is 5 plus 3? Um, that is 8. I'm going to put 8. Now it's text and let's see if it's going to work. So we're going to enter and it is fine <laughs> for the moment. I was expecting an error actually. But uh, we shall see. We shall see um, how it's going. And um, then 3. So this is going to work now. 8 plus 2 is 10. Cool. And 6 plus 10 is 16 and 8 plus 9 is 17 so there we go and that will be finished I don't know what's oh it's gone see at the bottom just move that one cool and then it's gone out of the program so that actually worked 
I was sort of expecting a, an error for whatever reason, but anyway, there we go. Let me close that. So that seems to be working. Um, type your answer. I think when we use the answer later on, I think we will get an error. I was just expecting an error there. But anyway, so that is working. So, um, oh, I know when we're going to get an error in the next section when we actually test whether or not the answer was correct. So we won't get the error in the typing of it. We're going to get an error in our next section when we have our branching, our if-then statement to test whether or not the user has done it correctly. And I think let me save that for the next video um, so we can do the if um, statement properly without um, all of this. So in this video you learned just to again to use uh, variables uh, within uh, the print function but you also learn to convert uh, integer to a string so you converted whole numbers to text so I, I want to change that word actually converted an integer to string okay so we can use that and uh, so our math quiz is actually starting to um, come around it's starting to look like a quiz I'm just running it again and 7 plus 9 is 16 I hope and so on so you can see it's now becoming a proper quiz you can now start to type answers and in the next section I will show you how to um, start to develop it further and to test whether or not our answer or whatever the user type was correct or not thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're learning lots from this and you're building up your skills Remember to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. Tell your friends about it and uh, follow me on uh, Twitter. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.